Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. Uh, it is the week of April 29th, 2021. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Christopher Blay. We are counting down the top five art events in Texas this week, and we're just going to jump right in. Yeah. Uh, number five looks to be a really good one. It sounds to Live with Jamal Cyrus, Peter Lucas, and DJ Flash Gordon Parks. It's going to be only uh, one day only, May 1st. And it's going to take place on the south lawn of the Manil Collection. Uh, if you're going to go, you need to pack your own blankets and lawn chairs. It's kind of first come, first serve on the lawn. And the event itself is going to be uh, artist Jamal Cyrus. And then Peter Lucas and Jason Woods, a.k.a. DJ Flash Gordon Parks. Uh, they'll be spinning their favorite records from uh, their personal collections so Lucas and Woods did the uh, Home Remedy Mixtapes series for Glass Tire uh, during the early days of uh, COVID. And yeah, that's still up, so you can check it out on our website. So number four on our list is in Round Rock, Texas, the Hill Country. It's at Timon Art Gallery. It's Gloria Sanchez Hart. Uh, it's a retrospective. 50 years of printmaking. She's a San Antonio artist and educator. She's been around. She's doing this for a long time. She's been, she's studied a lot. She's shown a whole lot in Mexico and she studied a lot, um, I think in Japan and China. She's a great printmaker. I looked up some of her images as well. I like a lot of these. Um, this opens on May 1st and runs through June 30th. I don't think that Time and Art has been around for too long. If it has, forgive me. It's sort of new on our radar because of our five minute tours, but that is one of the reasons we are aware of the space. But um, check this out. And she, uh, I think she's done some really, really nice work. She had a retrospective uh, 40 years of printmaking at the, in, uh, at the Stone Metal Press in San Antonio's Blue Star Arts Complex. So uh, another way to check out her work. Number three on our list is Concentrations 63, Julian Cherrier, Towards No Earthly Pole. Uh, that opens on May 2nd and runs through August 8th at the DMA. The Dallas Museum of Art, this is a long-running series that they've done. It kind of became, it kind of started to really hit its prime under Suzanne Weaver in the 90s, but Concentrations celebrates generally first museum shows in the United States for certain emerging artists or artists who've had a profile elsewhere but uh, haven't shown in Texas yet. And this is his first U.S. solo museum exhibition. He's a conceptual artist who lives and works in Berlin. And these are big environmental science, cultural history videos and photographs. They're very ambitious. They're very beautiful. Yeah, it takes these uh, scientific expeditions and pretty much documents how humans are <laughs> killing the earth and uh, all the effects. Yeah, yeah, it's the beautiful and it's the sublime, but the images look fantastic and it does open on May 2nd. You have uh, pretty much almost the whole summer to check it out. Number two on our list is Karen Navarro, The Construct Itself. It opened on April 30th and it runs through June 25th at Photo Relevance in Houston. She's originally from Argentina and she's living and working in Houston. She's a photographer who makes essentially kind of a 3D deconstructions portraits uh, out of photography. I mean, I would say, um, and I hope she'll forgive me if I'm off track here, but I mean, I see some David Hockney and some Rusty Scrooby and even some Chuck Close in this. I like these kind of geometric complexities. I like the the idea of as it's it is in the press release the reorder and rearranging of the many facets of our public facing identities. And yeah, you're right. It is a in a kind of an expansion of an earlier series of hers. So she's definitely one to keep an eye on. And she's uh, had her work published in a lot of international magazines, and she's shown internationally fairly extensively so some of this work was in the uh slowed and throat exhibition here at the cam h and number one on our list is hyde fontenot it's called sacred order of eternal wounds it's at the galveston arts center and it just opened uh on april 24th runs through july 11th yeah i went and checked out this show last weekend and there was some crazy traffic going down to Galveston, I must say. But uh, it was worth the trip. The show is epic. You know, that big hall uh, room gallery in the Galveston Arts Center was completely 
consumed by these really large, uh, I'm talking about like 10 foot by 20 foot canvases. Um, and the work is really stripped down for Hyde. He has like a lot of these uh, geometric shapes that, you know, end up, you know, sexual and there's some portraits, but it, it's based, it's an, ex, it, it expands on the, the work that he's done before. You know, he's looking at these like religious systems and uh, how they are completely opposite to the reality that he is experiencing as a queer artist. And, uh, it just really, it's, it's great. It's, I mean, he's got this background in film and set design and it absolutely shows. And I would say his last probably three big solo shows in Texas, one was at our pace, one was a conduit. This one have that kind of similar feel. And he's just a favorite Texas artist. We all know and like Hyde, love Hyde actually. And he's right now, he's a director at Solidius in San Antonio. So right. uh, we hope that we can keep him in Texas. That's always, that's always the goal, but uh, it may not be realistic, but we'll see. Um, so check that out while it's up.